Shields on your screen with Oakland having those two threes as well. Shannon gets the steal. He's going to take it all the way himself. And one for Illinois. And that's where he'll go for two in this one. So we'll see if he can flip that script and give Illinois their seventh point right here. Yeah, it's been a weakness of this entire team. Now with Dane Danger in the game, do you put somebody instantly thrive on the, the higher energy? And I thrive on, you know, watching Don Rickles right before I go on the air. You know, that kind of that kind of low energy calm and, and peace that Epi relies on the calm method there for his team and it's it's working. Certainly. First lead of the night for the Illini and they're up by two. As he looks to receive it. Shannon Jr. is gonna rip it. He's got an open lane. Kaboom. He's been making these adjustments and it's in part the reason Oakland's still in it. Shannon Jr.'s got a chance for one himself. He's got it. That signature, we've seen him make so many of those plays over his career at Hillsdale and now at Oakland, just backing up. And again, you can live by the three and die by the three if you're Greg Campy, if you have a man who can make those off-balance shots. A member of the first team, all great Midwest Athletic Conference, as mentioned earlier, Jack Golke, the transfer from Hillsdale College, as George alluded to. Shannon is open for three. He answers. He hits his first. Up here again, we talked about it. Damask is the guy for the, the, the register guy for this team who can turn a five on five into a four on four. But now it's Terrence Shannon. Now you have two of those guys for Illinois. Add that to the scouting report and it makes this team a lot tougher to defend against. Golke two for six now from three pointer and in general in this game. Shannon three pointer himself. Count it. Terrence Shannon.